Hello, and welcome to another EasyWP guide to making WordPress easy. Today, we're looking at the steps to log into WordPress admin from the EasyWP dashboard. With EasyWP, our clients have access to the EasyWP dashboard and the WordPress admin areas only. The EasyWP dashboard is a panel that allows managing a subscription. To access it, log into the Namecheap account, go to the Apps menu, and click on the EasyWP logo. On the main screen, you see only one option for now, create a website. Once the website is created, some new options become available. You can find general information about your WordPress site, its status, and renewal date. Also, two new buttons appear, Manage and WP Admin. The WP Admin button enables you to log in to the WordPress dashboard without a need to use the login credentials. Another option to access the WordPress admin area is a traditional way. The direct link, your domain slash WP dash admin or your domain slash WP dash login dot PHP. Upon your easy WP website creation, our system emails your WordPress website, username and password to the contact email address for the Namecheap account. You get access to the website details by clicking on the Manage button. Once clicked, you are redirected to the dashboard that contains the following tabs. Overview, Backups, File and Database, Analytics, and Integrations. We will start our journey with the Overview tab. The first section provides you with useful information about your WordPress website and EasyWP subscription the version of your WordPress installation, available storage, the plan name, its billing cycle, and when the next payment is due. The second section is called Website. It shows your website title and its address, SSL certificate, and the status of the website. Besides, you can change the domain name for your website by clicking on the Change button. We see three options here. Domain on Namecheap, Domain on another provider, Domain on EasyWP. Also, it provides you with the possibility to manage the SSL certificate and enable or disable a maintenance page on your website. It shows three different statuses the EasyWP subscription can be set to. Online, this is the default status that indicates that the created website is currently available to all visitors. Maintenance mode, while staying online and accessible for the WordPress admin user, the website is hidden from the visitors on the internet. Offline, the feature to temporarily turn the website offline and take it down from the internet completely is in development. It is not currently available. Clicking Change again applies the chosen website status. The subscription section contains information about your EasyWP subscription, the plan name, its billing cycle, renewal date. The change option allows only to upgrade the current plan it is not possible to downgrade to a lower one or revert the changes after the upgrade. By clicking on the Manage button, you can enable the Auto Renew. Before we proceed further, take a look at the WP Admin button. Now the More option has appeared. Users can reset their WordPress password or delete the website within the EasyWP dashboard in several clicks. Now let's dive into the Backups tab. Here you can manage backups of your WordPress site. 
create new backups, and see the list of the previously created and available ones. Now there are no backups created for the website. To generate one, enter the desired backup name in the Backup Description field, then click Create Backup. It takes up to 30 minutes for a backup to be generated. Once the backup is ready, you will see the pop-up message. We have a backup now. You can download files or database to your local machine, restore the full backup, files plus database, or delete it. The Files and Database tab contains SFTP details to access your website files, and login details for database access via embedded PHP MyAdmin. You will find more about these options in the next chapters. There is also the Analytics tab that allows checking RAM and CPU usage for the website. The last tab is Integrations. Here you can initiate supersonic CDN integration and check out other useful tools for building an online presence. <music>